What is going on guys? Intrepid just gave us another phenomenal monthly live stream. If it's really your cup of tea, some people don't like crafting and it's boring to them and that's okay. But I personally, I enjoyed what I saw and we're gonna talk about that a bit. First off in this live stream, jumping right to it, we got teases for the next two live streams, meaning we now know that the December live stream is going to be showcasing the much anticipated Ranger reveal showcasing 18 abilities from that archetype, which was teased just a little bit in this stream today. And then the January stream is going to be PVP around caravans, which is something that a lot of people have been waiting to see. They want to see PVP in the game. They want Intrepid to talk about their updates to the system and how PVP is actually going to function. And that will be a big stream to kick off the new year. My hopes around that is that that is going to be included with some maybe a larger player base and Intrepid's going to utilize the Phoenix Initiative testers or that could be some of the internal Alpha 1 testers to give us a much bigger PvP showcase than four devs kind of duking it out for a minute. That'd be a great way for them to utilize spot testing, get some testing done and also showcase what people really want to see. We don't want to see small scale 1v1 PvP. We want to see bigger groups of it and people fighting against each other which I guess that could be done with Intrepid devs too, but I just really want spot testing to be involved somehow because that's just how I am. But speaking of spot testing, Steven said, as he said in Discord, that is something that is happening right now. It's going to be ramped up even more in December, but Intrepid Studios is going to be closed for the holidays from December 22nd to January 2nd. So the solid like two-ish two and a half weeks, I think, in there, that nobody's going to be at Intrepid. They're all home for the holidays, so I imagine there's not going to be any sort of testing that happens in the second half of December. So, Alpha 1 testers might see a launcher update, like Steven said, but we probably aren't playing just yet. But with Intrepid being closed from the 22nd to the 2nd, that means we can expect an earlier developers update this month going into December. My guess would be that it's going to be December 17th stream, or somewhere in that week since they're gone from the 22nd on. And that also means that it's gonna be like a solid six weeks before we actually get the January stream, which is gonna be kind of sad, but maybe we can spot test, you know? You know, I have my hopes, I have my hopes. Anyways, beyond that, we then got an over an hour long showcase in this stream, showcasing the process of crafting pretty much. And it is a process because like everything in Ashes of Creation, nothing is going to be handheld to you and nothing is going to be simple. It's going to require you to pay attention to what's going on in the world and engage with NPCs and really follow direction. And this artisan showcase really showed that as it starts out with Steven having to go talk to a herbalist to get that first recipe to create a basic tool to gather herbs. And if you'll notice, there was no exclamation point over the head there was no quest that popped up you had to walk over to that herbalist in the node and speak with him for you to find these things out obviously as testing goes on steven also talked about how there will be a bit of an intro new player system that comes in the betas it's not going to hold your hand all the way through it which is what i like i want there to be a challenge i want that old school mmo feeling where you actually have to go out and explore to figure out what's going on and not have all these add-ons and markers on the map and things like that that are really showing you where you need to go but with that though the node that they were in was set up for this stream pretty much but the way nodes work is the mayor of the node can build sp certain buildings your node that you're in might not have that station that has the herbalist in it if that is a profession you want to do you're gonna have to go to a different node to find that to build your scythe to get that profession tree started i'm not gonna go through and break down every bit of detail in here but we did go through there we see steven gathering resources we see him level up his profession rank when he hit level 10 lumberjacking we got some teases of the profession's ui and we see steven spec into them a little bit we see steven once he levels up his lumberjack and he needs to go make a new axe and we see the process of that which took it probably took them about 30 45 minutes just to make that new tool because only the first one is given to you and the next ones require materials for it in the end though it, it took about an hour and a half stream for them to go out and make a sword and make an axe which is a pretty hefty amount of time obviously that would be quicker when they're not trying to teach you and you're just playing you're going out to gather materials and you're coming back to the node to build it this stream it shows more of the talking 
working side and Steven explaining the process and the devs explaining the process. So it'll be a bit speedier than what we saw in today's stream. We also get more detail on the profession ranks and how it's been said for a while, you're not gonna be able to master every profession. We now learn that everyone can be a novice. Everyone can do a novice in any profession so they can dabble in a little bit. Then you're only gonna be have five professions that you're an apprentice in, four that you're a journeyman in, three that you're a master in, and two that you're a grandmaster in, locking people into specific paths. So you're not gonna be an end game crafter, an end game gatherer of all the professions. It's not gonna happen. You can level up on alts and do other professions on alts, but that again is going to be a big time sink. And this is really meant to make you rely on the economy and other players in the guild and things like that. Beyond that, in this showcase, we also see an updated look to the day and night cycle. The night is now much darker than it was when we saw it back in the literally a year ago in the last November stream when they did that first cleric update. We see how resources can change and be unlocked in the night and there are two resources Steven needed for his sword that are only visible in night and they glow in the night and you can't see them at all during the daytime. We saw a corrupted zone and Steven talked a bit about how if corrupted goes unhandled within the areas and people aren't paying attention to it, it will spread. And at night, this area of corruption looked absolutely amazing. It's pretty cool looking thing to see. The night really, it almost makes you feel like you're in a whole new game. We also saw lighting updates, the lighting in the game, like it wasn't extremely noticeable unless you were looking for it. But if you take it and you compare it to the node showcase, the lighting is going to look significantly different in my opinion. We also had an updated skybox. We now see clouds moving around in the sky. The day nighttime looked a lot more clear and crisp and looked more realistic in the sky. And it was it was pretty cool to see. Obviously, I will probably do a video in the future breaking down crafting a bit more specifically, going through all of the information we have, not just on the stream. So if you're looking for that kind of breakdown, you're not going to get that today, but it's coming. Personally, I really enjoyed seeing the crafting. It's honestly, it's just, I'm torn on it. Because I like the time sink that it's going to take, but at the same time, I'm going to be that guy who's torn. Do I want to level my character today? Do I want to do this or do I want to do craft? And it's really going to be a decision you have to make when you're jumping in every single time because you're not going to be able to do it all right away. Some people will wait till max level to even start their crafting. Some will do it as they go. So it'll be quite interesting to see. Obviously, crafting stuff gets you XP too. So there is some sort of progression with your main level, but not not everybody wants to do that. Not everybody's going to be a crafter. Some people are waiting till January so they can be a PvPer. For art update, we saw some of the human starting gear stuff. We saw copper weapon sets, which were stated they're going to be weapon sets for every material. We saw some more Carfin weapons like a that come from the Tower of Carfin dungeon, such as a dagger and some other thing. We see the Scarlet Remembrance cosmetic rain. We see the Feyguard cosmetic, the Bloomfist mount cosmetic the mature drill spider, the rain rock fawn, which is an NPC deer looking thing. I think it was a pet too, I can't remember. And the shoal skipper cosmetic mount, which is like this narwhal manatee mountain thing. I don't know, I'm not an ocean person. But overall, I would say this is a great stream. It wasn't the best stream that Intrepid has shown us like I was anticipating, but it was still a very good stream. We learned a lot about crafting and it's nice to see it finally come together. Every month we look at this, the game is coming more and more together and you can tell, like now we know we're close. We know spot testing is happening, but just visually looking at it and looking at these systems tying together finally, you know we're getting there. It's almost time for us to step in. So let me know your thoughts on the whole live stream thing. Drop a comment down below and as always, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up and stay tuned for a lot more to come.